Hello friends, my name is Tina Shubhamurthy. I did my masters from Birmingham University, UK. And uh, today we are going to learn a chapter from 11th class called Animals in Prison, which is written by Jawaharlal Nehru. Uh, you must be very familiar with this name. He was our first prime minister and he was also a freedom fighter. He was very closely associated with Mahatma Gandhi and many other, free other freedom fighters as well. He spent a lot of time in jail during uh, the freedom struggle. So this chapter is mostly about his experience in the prison and his experience with the animals that he saw in the prison. So the first would be the introduction of the chapter. Uh, in that, we will talk a bit about the author and some interesting facts about him, which is not in the chapter. Then uh, we will come to chapter analysis, where I'm going to read each and every paragraph. And then I'm going to explain a bit about it. Uh, if there are some more, uh, difficult words, I'm going to convert that into Hindi. And then uh, uh, we will go to the third one which is word usage now here we are going to learn the difficult words its Hindi meaning and its synonyms so you will get to know uh, the difference between the word usage and its synonym and how to use it in a in different sentences now the fourth one is composition in composition we are going to learn two things uh, that i'm going to explain later the fifth one is question and answer which is very important for us i'm going to describe some important questions uh, which is uh, important in terms of your exams and the sixth one the last one is summary now the first one introduction here we are going to learn a bit about the chapter and then uh, about the author, introduction of the author and some interesting facts about him. Uh, so I'm going to uh, read one pa a small paragraph in which uh, you are going to learn about the author and some few, th few other things. Uh, so the uh, open the page number three which is the first one uh, animals in prison by Jawaharlal Nehru Jawaharlal Nehru born in 1889 till 1964 India's first prime minister was popular among the children as Chacha Nehru he was a man of rare sensitivity educated at Harrow and Cambridge University he became a barrister after studying natural science and law and returned to India in 1921. Deeply influenced by Mahatma Gandhi, he joined Indian politics to uh, in Indian National Congress and uh, deeply influenced by Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, he joined Indian politics and soon emerged as a leader of the country's youth. However, he was not more mere politician. He was also a dreamer, idealist, humanist and artist in, in words as well. His works and autobiography, The Discovery of India, Glimpses of World History and Letters from a Father to His Daughter. These are few books which has been written by him. And uh, if you are interested in reading more good English, then you should read these books, especially the letter f from a father to his daughter. And the second one <coughs> is Discovery of India. You can read the book as well. And there is a series of videos about the discovery of India. The letter from a father to his daughter is written by him when he was in the jail and he was writing to Indira Gandhi. Uh, so these books are remarkable for a rare visitor, 
and beauty and beauty they establish him as a master of english prose when you uh, hear the uh, narrator has said that uh, he was a master of english prose why he said that when you will read the cha whole chapter then you will get to know that uh, it's uh, there are many difficult words in the chapter in the paragraphs but still you can uh, you can read it as a in in a flow uh, you can dream about the things which he has written um, it comes in front of your eyes the the way he has narrated the whole ch uh, the ho the whole thing it comes as a as a as a movie towards your in your in your eyes so that's why he says that he has that ability he was that good in english while in prison before independence he read books observed nature dreamt at times and wrote in his powerful and poetic style about all that he thought and felt uh, in this one also you will see that he has written it in a bit in a bit of poetic style uh, which is kind of interesting um, his best elegant poetical prose is best captured in his autobiography which is we are uh, the one which are which we are going to read the following extract was taken from an autobiography reveals nehru's love for nature it is remarkable how he derives pleasure from watching different animals and gives respect even to a tini tiniest animal the piece is a wonderful example of live and let live now uh, uh some interesting facts about him that he was from the richest one of the richest family in the country his father motilal nehru was a very big lawyer of the country and he went to cambridge for his further studies when he came back he joined politics he joined he was a lawyer he joined politics but he was very humble he was very down to earth kind of a person and uh, that's why uh, gandhi mahatma gandhi chose him as the first prime minister uh, he was also a bit progressive not a bit progressive a lot progressive than other leaders of the country at that point of time like he was not at all uh, in favor of caste system and uh, about ca class about gender bias there are many issues that he was completely against those things and that's why gandhi thought that if a country like india needs some leader then it should be like him and he was very popular among the among the whole population that was another reason why he chose nehru as the first prime minister 